Sundance Art Fair Sanford and Sons, established in 1904. Not here, but I mean, they were established in 1904. If they were here in 1904, they would have just been in the water. This whole area in 1904 was still water and uh, only became recovered land back in the 1920s. Oh, on our left just here is North Wharf. North Wharf is the last and only north facing wharf on the Auckland waterfront. It consists of two flanking pavilions surrounding an original warship known as the Old Red Shed, named quite imaginatively because it's old red in the shed. It's just here on our left. It now houses the Wynyan Pavilion, a lovely cafe and restaurant, and a white stone cheese house, which is just here on the corner. And if you look on North Wharf there, you'll see the rails where the uh, trains used to bring the products to the warshed ready for export. So we're just passing on the right hand side now the ASB Bank headquarters. Now the reason I'm pointing this out to you is it's actually quite an innovative building and it's one of the uh, most sustainable buildings in Auckland. Now it's actually got a five star green energy rating and this means that it's almost entirely self-sustainable. You may notice the interestingly shaped uh, metal plates on the outside. These are actually fashioned uh, to replicate the Hudakawa leaves and they serve a dual purpose, uh, allowing views to uh, out to the harbour for the office workers, but also allowing uh, shading for the windows and cool air to come in. As we make our way around the other side of the building, you may also notice a very interesting white sort of sail shaped scoop on the top and that actually helps to draw hot air out of the building and draw cool air in in a sort of form of natural air conditioning. The left hand side with the Park Hyatt Hotel opened in September 2020. It's 27,000 square meters of hotel, 195 rooms and a 25 meter long infinity pool. Also within the hotel are various architectural features that represent various landmarks within New Zealand. So just over to our left now you can actually see the Sky Tower. 